Hey you guys, this is Hylia doing a reaction in the middle of the night because I can't sleep. So, this is what we're going to do. I like Joel, so I love his channel, so I'm going to put everything down in the description and let you guys know what I'm reacting to. But we got to get right into this video because he ate some cakes, boy. That man can eat him and his friend, boy. And he's got a channel as well, his partner. So uh, we are going to react to him eating New York style cakes. So there's out there in the gluten free, famous cakes, okay? So they're out there in New York and doing their thing. So let's get right to the video. Uh, let's react together. This is my first time doing it like this. So I'm going to try to do my best to give you all. A great reaction to what is going on. Okay, all right, let's get started. Slice looks wonderful. Can't eat them because I'm a diabetic. I wish I could find some sugar free cake. <laughs> but hey, it wouldn't be cake, would it? I never had sugar free, gluten free cake before. So I wonder if they can make that too. Everyone, Joel here, and today we're going to be at Posh Pop Bakery in New York City. Yes, Posh Pop Bakery, taking on their Take the Cake Challenge. So we're going to have 15 minutes to complete the challenge, which consists of a slice of each of their different cakes. Uh, they have a variety of standards plus a revolving cake, depending on the season. Um, so yeah, pretty much 15 minutes to get the cakes for free. I think about 60 bucks. Um, really? It's going to be a lot of cake. Apparently, these cakes are. I like to see this. Delicious, super, you know, creamy icing, really nice richness to them. Um, but apparently they also weigh like half to three quarters of a pound each. So it's a lot, a lot, a lot of cake, not a lot of time. Um, this is actually a world famous gluten-free bakery and one of the top cake shops in New York City. So with that, let's go get you some more info. Let's have fun, let's eat food. Let's get eating some cake. Hi everyone, so here we are with all the cakes. Looks very, very, very delicious. Um, I, it has been a long time since I've had a cake challenge. Actually, I don't think I've ever done a just straight cake challenge. So, what about you? Uh, ice cream with cake on top, but no yeah. uh, straight cake. No, so this is super unique, guys. And again, this is definitely one of the most popular cake bakeries here in New York City. So I'm so excited we get to actually try this. So in front of us, guys, we have an ube cake. Yes, I'm talking ube all around, icing, ube crumbles, and also the cake itself. We then have a chocolate, peanut butter, and the nem. Chocolate cake, peanut butter icing, M&M's on it. Sounds very, very delicious. We have a carrot cake, guys. You know, with everything, you know, walnuts, all the good stuff in there. We have a dark, tall, and handsome. Yes, we're talking chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Specifically, guys, we have a chocolate ganache. We have a chocolate buttercream icing and a chocolate cake. We then have the Funfetti, which is a vanilla custard cake with a buttercream icing on it. And then we also have the kind of seasonal cake, which is a maple pumpkin pecan. We're talking a pumpkin cake. This is hard work trying to re react to this. That is a lot of cake. I hope they make it through. I really think they're going to be sick. I really do. Do you all think he's going to be sick? Comment down below. Like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe and tell me what you like about this reaction video. This is going to be crazy. Um, I don't know. Scott, 20 minutes. Think we can do it? I mean, there's only one way to try. That's it. So how about we can start here just momentarily? All right, guys. So how about we get started? Um, 20 minutes. So how about we say the count of five, four. Well, I don't really know where to start. Uh, maybe with the tall, dark, and handsome. Tall, dark, and handsome. That's right. a good place to start. Yeah. All right, guys. So how do we get going here? And uh, cheers, Scott. Cheers. Three, two, one. Let us go. Mm. Woo. 
That is nice and rich. Man. Talk about chocolate. Mmm. Very moist. Very moist. Woo! The ganache. Mm. It was a very tall piece of cake there. They were big, nice and thick, and handsome. Mm -hmm. It was a handsome cake. Mm -hmm. At this point, this is entirely too much for my brain. I am already having a sugar rush to my head watching all those cakes. Let me tell you, when I bake my cakes, they be that thick, and I can only eat one layer of a slice of thin cake. Not thick cake, thin cake. That is thick slice cake, and I will probably be in the bathroom throwing up. <laughs> I'm just saying, you guys, that's a lot. So from this point on, I'm going to let you all watch the video. I don't want to all the way talk too much because I want you all to watch this and have a reaction to it. Okay? All right. Let's get back to the video. This challenge came with the 15 minute time limit. If not, we'd be facing about $60 for all the cakes. But I will say, they were very, very delicious. But man, they were sweet. They were decadent. And trying to eat this much sugar in one sitting can be quite difficult. I don't think it is sugar free though, but it's really good nonetheless. <laughs> The cakes themselves were super, super moist, and I love the diversity of the flavors, like having the ube, you know, having the maple, walnut, like all that stuff was just super, super, super awesome, and definitely worth a stop on by. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna hop over to this peanut butter M&M. Yes, sir. Peanut butter is not my thing. I eat peanut butter, but not every day. I hate peanut butter. It, it's nasty. I'm... I'm going to call myself a vegetarian because I still eat animal-based products, but eat more of the, the plant-based, but I swear, like, ooh, peanut butter, ooh, that, that has to be my last one. The camera doesn't do justice. I will say, perfect amount of icing on these two, man. Mm -hmm. Like, everything's so much flavorful, but... It's not excess. It's the perfect amount. There's a lot of natural commentary in the video, so pretty much I'll leave you to it. But that's about it, guys. 15 minutes. Hopefully, we'll be able to eat all the pieces of cake to get the meal for free. And we're just over three minutes in. But at that, comment down below which piece of cake you think would be your favorite. And ultimately, eventually, if we get to them all, Scott and I will also be able to tell you what our favorite are. So tune into the rest of the video. Let me know what your favorite piece of cake on the tray is video down video below. That and with that, I let's see what like happens. Purple cake because it was like kind of like coconutty, purplish, tropical, as they put it in the video before we even get to that purple one. But that's my favorite looking cake. Looking cake. Good. I can't eat that. I cannot. But I enjoy watching them eat it. <laughs> I like them. So ube, if you're not familiar, <laughs> very popular in my Asian cuisines. It's actually a root vegetable. Some people say it carries like caramel coconut kind of flavors. Uh, I think chocolate. <laughs> but very, very good. Yeah, the more it's got a very moist okay. cake there. Very moist. Mm -hmm. okay. I love that flavor. Like you said, some kind of like some people say caramel coconut. I give it some chocolate. The icing, definitely some cream cheese action. Yeah, but crumble. It's almost got a tropical. Flavor. Definitely, yeah, definitely. This so definitely a rich piece. Very decadent. But I really like the flavor of it. Yeah, that is a, that is a rich piece. Mm -hmm. I think that might be the richest one yet. Yeah. Right. 
We are just over five minutes in. You get like almost like a cream cheese. Definitely. Yeah, we got cream cheese. Alrighty. Uh, hmm. How about I try this maple pumpkin pecan? This looks so fantastic, guys. Maple icing. Candy pecans. Mm. Well, I don't know. I like that maple. The pumpkin picture is nice. All this cake is really nicely made. Yeah. Very moist. It is, yeah. I mean, they like they like sell out. They like they're known for like selling by the whole cake. They sell out all the time. How about that? Really impressed with the pumpkin. It reminds me of like a coffee cake, but it's just like perfect for the fall season. And it's not as sweet as the ube. It's very, very nice and palatable. Get rid of the papers there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. Last but not least, here we have carrot cake. I'm a big carrot cake person. I love carrot cake. So you save the best for last. I'm a big carrot cake eater too, so I love carrot cake. That is my favorite cake other than red velvet, and that's not in, on, on that plate. But it's very, very good. I like the icing as well. Nice and rich. They are, all the icings are kind of familiar, but they seem to have like a, a unique flavor to them as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So good. Reminds me, same thing. I think it reminds me of cream cheese. There's a cream cheese icing on it. There you go. Which is you know very standard for a carrot cake. They're doing it real well. I like this. Some carrot cakes are just too sweet. This one is perfect. Mm -hmm. Definitely very decadent though. Last bite, well, cheers. Celebratory, guys. Cakes are for celebration. We're going to celebrate. All right. And we are sitting at almost nine minutes, so cheers, dude. Cheers. want to say thank you for watching this video all the way to the end y'all that did Yay! like comment and subscribe 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 i am so glad that they beat even 15 minutes because they were going back and forth 20 minutes 15 minutes all that stuff i can't even believe that they, they even made it through that that whole ordeal i i just I would have just threw up on the, I guess, the, the I guess it would be like three bites, because I could take like two bites of one layer and be done. Like, my stomach is already on full by the time I get to or something like that. 
I just want to thank you guys for going ahead and let me make my first uh, um, reaction reaction video. I mean, the 911 calls is okay, but I really had to go in on this to edit it and everything and to make it a more reaction type video that YouTube is looking for. So hopefully I did a good job. Let me know down below if I did a good job. Do you know what I'm saying? And just let me know what else you would like to see because this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going all through YouTube to find things that um, interest me and um, until I start getting feedback and reactions to my videos, comments and uh, emails, uh, everything. Like I have an IG. Everything is all in my um, on my channel. You know, just go there, bam. Um, I'm gonna start posting more on my IG. I'm gonna start posting more on my Twitter. I'm gonna start posting more on. Um, oh my God, I got Twitter, and then um, I haven't started my chat on my on my website yet, but I will be chatting. You all can chat among yourselves if that's if it works that way i'm i haven't figured that part out yet but i would like to chat with you guys on the website so go on over there to cover them with love on my website yeah okay so we i like i said i like doing reaction videos there are going to be times where i'm going to do something that's going to be sad i'm going to do stuff that's going to make you mad i'm going to be doing i'm going to do stuff you know what i'm saying and just because I'm a spiritual channel does not mean that I'm not human. So I will probably have some raw emotions on at times and, you know, just pray for me when I get like that, you know. I, I'm, a, I'm a servant of God. I, I do what I'm supposed to, I, you know, as far as, you know, God would like me to go because I will go as far as he would he want me to go. And if he say do it, I'm doing it, Okay. But also, too, you know, I, I there's never a but with God. It's if, if either you're all in or you're all out. But and this is the, I can't keep saying but. However, um, this is the end of the video. And I just want to tell you guys, I love you guys. Jesus loves you and so do I. I may not like your ways, but I love you anyway. In Jesus' name, amen. You all have a good and blessed day. Make it productive. Peace and love. Bye. Love her. <laughs>